Meghan Markle and Prince Harry takes part by Jeremy Clarkson Netflix deal. The TV host, who has his own multi-million pound deal with rival streaming giant Amazon, doesn't have high hopes for the kind of content a royal couple will produce. Jeremy Clarkson has taken a swipe at Prince Harry and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, over their plans to launch a series of optimistic projects on Netflix. The 60-year-old it out after it was revealed the prince and 39-year-old former Suits actress Meghan had signed a £110 million deal with Netflix. And the royal couple said in a statement it was their mission through the deal to create content that informs but also gives hope. Although they got off on a bad foot as the agreement led to the pair allegedly cancelling on an Amazon project that had aimed to raise millions for injured soldier charity Invictus. Snorting at the news of Harry and Meghan's plans, Jez made it clear he would not be tuning in. And expressed his opinion that the content would not be up to scratch. He told, they will be drivel. One hundred million pounds to make shows and films that inform and give hope? Kill me. I'd be much better making their programs, as I don't give a st about anything they give a st about. Just awful. The star, who presents the grand tour on Amazon, also spoke out about BBC plans to level the entertainment field amid reports. That new director-general Tim Davey is attempting to balance the comedy output of the broadcaster to include more right-wing jokes. However, Jez hinted he thinks the 53-year-old broadcaster could be taking the wrong approach. When it comes to changing output from the Beeb, which some have claimed has become too left-wing, Jeremy argued comedy should come down to one thing only if the person making the content is funny or not. He said, it doesn't matter where you went to school, what color you are, whether you've got breasts, a scrotum, it simply doesn't matter. It's, are you funny? But he, like millions of Brits, thinks his old stomping ground has become too obsessed, with being PC and not enough with making us chuckle. New BBC Director General Tim Dave is to target comedy shows that are often seen as too left-wing in a bid to restore trust and confidence in the organization. Jeremy, however, says it is easier than that just crack good jokes. In an exclusive interview, he said, it's got nothing to do with your politics. Are you a funny person? It doesn't matter where you went to school, what color you are, whether you've got breasts, a scrotum, it simply doesn't matter. It's, are you funny? There was an old commissioner at the BBC who used to say, years ago, beware, beware, the man who cares. If someone comes to sell me this documentary about something that they feel passionately about, it'll be CP. All films made about something where the director is trying to get a message across. Whether it's diamonds in Africa or whatever, and as good as they could have been if somebody couldn't have given us tea. Jeremy's comments about making films and shows which the directors are obsessed with are very timely. Just a day before we speak. Prince Harry and wife Meghan Markle signed a deal worth more than £110 million with streaming giant Netflix. A toe-curling statement from the couple promised they would create content that informs but also gives hope. And I doubt that will prompt Jeremy to shell out £8.99 a month on a subscription anytime soon. He said, they will be drivel. £100 million to make shows and films that inform and give hope? Kill me. I'd be much better making their programs, as I don't give a st about anything they give a st about. Just awful. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, would you please help us like, share and subscribe our channel. Wish you happy to see our videos, thank you very much.